Hey gang, it's Ryan over at CT Ria. So I wanted to do a, a fast video. Uh, some of my biggest questions I get, and I get them not daily, but almost every day, are lease tips and things. So obviously at CT Ria, our lease is 28 pages long, and I've developed that lease over the last 12 years of amassing a rather large rental portfolio in Central Connecticut. So in that 28 page lease is a lot of things, but but one of the more important clauses that I explain to the tenant at lease up, okay? So I go over my lease every time I leased up a tenant, it would take an hour because we go over the whole thing. I, I don't just want them to sign. I need them to understand it. And one of those clauses is the drain clog, okay? One of the more common maintenance calls that you're gonna get as a class C landlord is maintenance calls for clogs, right? Clog sink, clog toilet, da 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 da. So I explain to them and they sign an initial that all the drains are working properly as of the lease signing. Any future clogs are on you, Mr. or Mrs. Tenant. The only exception to that is if it's something wrong with my pipes, like the main line has a crack in it and roots are going into it, which we get a lot of in New England. Absent that, it's on them. You know, so uh, what'll happen is it'll clog up and, and it's usually the ladies more than the guys, sorry ladies. Uh, in, in, in a class C rental, sometimes they'll pour grease down the kitchen sink. That'll clog it. Okay. And if, and if you're in the beginning of your rental career, like I was, and I used to unclog them myself, I'm not very handy, but I would go buy liquid plumber. I'm just using that generically. And I would always do the wrong one. Cause I always thought liquid plumber is liquid plumber. It makes a difference. So the kitchen sink is typically clogged with grease. That's a different product than the bathroom sink, which is, or the, or the, uh, the tub, which is clogged with hair different products. So if you try to use a, a liquid plumber that dissolves grease and you try it in the bathroom, you can say, this thing's not working. You know, so don't forget that, but have them sign an initial, that lease clause that says you are responsible and you want to explain to them those flushable wipes that you see at the grocery store, they're not flushable. Uh, feminine products, don't do that, you know, because some of these guys, they just don't know and, you know, they don't mean any harm, but they're flushing things that shouldn't go down there. Ultimately, it's their bill. So explain that to them. Hope that helps.